Hello, in this video we'll be covering the ADO.NET metadata collection source. The metadata collection source is a data source, uh, which means that it's a reader which will read records from a particular data set. Uh, in this case, the data set is coming from the data provider, uh, and it's reading from specifically metadata, uh, a certain type of metadata about the database. Uh, in this case, we've chosen the data types uh, metadata collection. Uh, and we have information about the data types in the layout. So for example, we have the type name, column size, and other information that we might deem useful. If I preview this data, you can see that for every single uh, row, I have a different data type and, and, and corresponding information about that data type. So this is the data set, and this becomes the driver of my data flow. So for every single data uh, type, I'm going to have a record created and flowing through the data flow. In this case, I have a destination where I'm mapping the type name uh, to the corresponding .NET uh, type as well. So to, to illustrate this, I'm going to go ahead and create one from scratch uh, and show you how to use it. So in this case, I'm going to go to the toolbox, uh, look under the sources section in the toolbox, and drag and drop the ADO.NET metadata collections uh, object from the toolbox. When I do that you can see that this object is blank uh, and it has no layout. So to configure the layout the first thing I'm going to do is double click or right click and select properties and this will bring open the dialog uh, properties editor. So the first thing I need to do is select the data provider. Uh, by default it's SQL Server but I can change it to any other ones depending on which provider I choose you can see that I get a different UI for it. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and leave it as SQL Server uh, and use the uh, Windows authentication uh, rather than the name and password that I can specify here. I'm also going to choose the, the server and then choose pick the database. In this case, I'm going to pick my AdventureWorks database. I'm going to leave the schema as blank by default and choose Next. The next screen is the uh, ADO collection uh, chooser. So depending on what collection I choose, of course, I will get a different uh, layout. So uh, before we showed you uh, data types, where we had this layout, if I choose a different uh, collection, let's say for example I want to see columns, uh, I will get a different completely different layout. And this layout is fixed. You cannot add or subtract uh, attributes from this layout. So uh, you may have noticed that when I changed it to columns, I got uh, information in this table. Uh, what this table is, is the restriction table. So for example, if I just leave it uh, uh, with no restrictions as blank and I preview my data, you can see that I get uh, a, a whole a lot of columns uh, across different tables. Let's say that I want to restrict the information to a particular table. I can go into the properties and say for the table, I want this uh, restrict only to the department table. And now if I preview the data, you can see that I only have the columns that are specific to the department table. And I can go ahead and map uh, to my destination from this source as I would any other database source. Um, so that pretty much is it for the ADO.NET metadata collections.